Being joined by Mr. Hartley, uh, you've become one of if the quickest, if not the quickest guy in P1 so far. Is that just natural talent? Is that the Kiwiness? Tell me where that comes from. No, I mean, actually, actually we've all been quick, and the, the Porsche was very quick on the test day. So we had a, yeah, very positive start to the to Le Mans. Um, obviously, a big week ahead. But yeah, in terms of Kiwis, I mean, we were just saying I was. I was alone the last three years, the, the, my, my first three Le Mans. Now there's four of us, you know, and um, all competing at the high level. And I hope in 10, 15, 20 years' time, I'll be able to look back on this time and, and uh, reflect in a good way because I think it's a very special time for New Zealand Motorsport to have so many Kiwis competing at the highest level, not just here in the WEC, but and if it's IndyCar, if it's Formula 3, if it's uh, in, in, in Australia and Vietnam, because it doesn't matter, there's always a Kiwi there somewhere doing a good job. So, And I think, uh, well, speaking on both of us, I think we're, we're proud to be flying the flag as one of us. Yeah. We had Dixie just win a few days ago in Texas, but tell us about uh, Mitch, who I think has definitely caught a lot of people's attention, and also Richie as well, representing in GT. Yeah, so so Mitch has um, actually had a pretty similar career path to me, you know, through single seaters, and now he's doing some GP2, and now having a look at Le Mans. Uh, I haven't actually spoken to him since he did the Le Mans test day, but I, I mean, I heard he, he was enjoying himself, and he, he obviously had a, the first race win in, in Spa, and uh, obviously Richie, I think he had no, yeah, he also had a race win in Spa, or a, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. With this, this, they're doing everyone's doing a good job, and like I say, it's everyone's at the, at the high level. It's not like we're we're making up the numbers, you know. Two of us in LMP1, LMP2, GT Pro. I mean, it's uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, we're we don't know why actually. There's a lot of people asking me, okay, what is it? Is it different water or? Actually, there's four and a half million people from New Zealand, other side of the world, and, and we love motorsport there. It's great, and I think that it stems from our go-karting community. Um, me and Brendan grew up in the same go-kart club. Um, we raced together from, yeah, very yeah Exactly. His, uh, his dad used to build the engines. Yeah, and mine was always a little bit, a little bit better, but it's, uh, we won't talk about that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was great times in New Zealand growing up, and I think one awesome thing is, is that if you want to, you can race every single weekend of the year. And, and the proper tracks, yeah. you know, like... Uh, a lot of high-speed corners as well. War's pretty close, so so you get used to. Yeah, you uh, still have to take risks to go quick in, in New Zealand. That's exactly. For sure. a bit like America and some of the some of the tracks I've driven. Uh, Pukekohe. Yeah. As you come uh, up over, <laughs> not quite. I'm not, but I'm not sure we can compare them on with Pukekohe. No, but, but yeah. the walls. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Probably offended a lot. Of